Sam in Mexico! Yay! <laughs> and if you didn't understand that, hi friends, it's Sam in Mexico. I am hot and sticky and covered in sand and salt and had lots of cervezas and it's wonderful. Having a fantastic time. We went to this tiny little island called Hobosh and to get there I had to fly from Toronto to Cancun, take a van from Cancun to Tequila, take a ferry from Tequila to Holbosch, and then take a golf cart from the ferry to the hotel. Yeah, it was a long trip. But once we got there, it was paradise. Like, literally, people called it paradise. <laughs> I went on this trip with my cousin, Gretty, my longtime friend, Eleanor, and my new friend, Sarah. And there's me being a dork. The first night we found this cute little restaurant and later found out this guy was vegan, which is kind of cool. They had this vegan option on the menu, which was these chickpea ball things. Unfortunately, they were kind of bland and not that great, but at least they had drinks, right? <laughs> The hotel had this beachfront, loungy restaurant hanging kind of area, which was lovely. And the whole island was basically just a really chill, relaxing paradise. There was hammocks in the water, and it was just really beautiful and serene. Very calm and peaceful, not like a huge party town, just very chill if that's what you're looking for. For me, it was beautiful, but it did get a little boring after a while because the island was so small. The entire island is sand. There are no cars on the island because it's so small. It's just golf carts and bicycles, which is super cute and makes it really friendly. The downtown is really cute and has a tiny bit of a nightlife vibe, which is fun, and I found my happy place. One of the things I love about Mexico is there is art everywhere. Murals are everywhere, crafts are everywhere. They're all about the art and I love it. The island is full of animals, both pets and wildlife. There are a ton of birds and iguanas. I even saw a flamingo way off in the distance one day. Just one guy all by himself. There were also a ton of adorable beach dogs, and I swear when I tell you this, we witnessed these dogs have like morning meetings where they meet up and like talk to each other. And now for the food. The hotel had a morning buffet breakfast included, which had lots of gorgeous fruit, but to my surprise, the chef made me a breakfast especial, a vegan breakfast, every single morning. I had called the hotel ahead of time and told them I was vegan, so I think that's a great tip for future travel. I had this amazing chia pudding with fruit and sugar chips, pancakes with strawberries and dairy-free chocolate sauce these amazing tacos with soy and mushroom and pickled veggies on jicama, cereal with dried fruit, fresh fruit and nuts and coconut milk, and this amazing and super creative grilled watermelon salad. So big thank you to Holbosch Dream by Experience Hotels and Coquitos Beach Club for being so accommodating. Now unfortunately the town was basically not at all vegan friendly. I did see this vegetarian restaurant, but I never actually saw it open. So I had to get a bit creative and order side dishes to make tacos. I ordered a cheeseless pizza, it was dark. Nachos without cheese these stewed vegetable tacos, and of course, lots of guacamole. I never thought I'd get tired of guacamole, but I'm definitely tired of guacamole now. And of course, I had lots of fresh fruit, including coconut and papaya, all sorts of yummy things. And when all else failed, there were always drinks, lots of drinks. Now I have been to Isla Mujeres and Tulum and both places were very vegan friendly so I was a little surprised it wasn't more vegan friendly but I clearly should have looked it up first. Whoops. Now luckily Eleanor and Sarah rented a place with a kitchen beside us so we ended up going shopping and making some amazing vegan salsas and beans and guacamole. So delicious. We also went on some fun adventures and exploration of the island and stopped at this watering hole which sounded like this. But then everyone left and we had it pretty much to ourselves. We also went and saw bioluminescence but this was my footage. Yeah, it actually looked like this, which was completely amazing and surreal. On our way home to the airport, we stopped by a cenote, which is an underground cave with fresh water. This one was up to 300 feet deep in some places, and there was fish and bats flying around. It was really cool. 
Then as a final stop, we stopped in Porto Morelos on the way home and I found a vegetarian restaurant! Yeah, I was so excited. <laughs> we had an amazing lunch of this fresh, delicious green soup, which came with horchata, which is a sweet rice milk beverage with cinnamon on top of it, so yummy. And this big plate of all this good stuff, pasta tacos, so much goodness. And the whole meal cost 85 pesos, which is less than $5 US. I hope you like this video, and if you do, be sure to give it a big like. It really helps me out on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe for another fuss-free vegan video every single Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Bon Prevecho! <laughs> <laughs>